Colin here with Max Tie Downs to talk about what will likely be and remain the most debated topic on car transportation ever, and that is to cross or not to cross your straps. The idea behind crossing straps is well founded, and that is to prevent the car from migrating sideways. At Max, we don't condone that method for three primary reasons. Number one, if the straps are crossed, they are obviously continuing to try to move together. And whether it's on the front of the car or the back of the car, that migration is often stopped by something. And that something that stops the migration of the strap is never friendly to the strap itself. It's typically a welded on bracket that's not very refined and smoothed out, therefore causes early strap degradation. Uh, it could be a brake line fitting, any number of things cause that strap to stop migrating inward. So that's reason number one. Secondly is that uh, the in the event that you have one of your straps loosen for any reason whatsoever, the other strap that remains tight is trying to pull the car sideways. That obviously applies to both the front and the rear of the car. And thirdly, the reason that we don't recommend crossing the straps is that if the straps are positioned straight away, and this has much more to do with the rear of the car than the front, they're already prepared to do their work, and that is, hang on, Mr. Car, I'm not going to let you travel forward on the deck of the trailer. If they're crossed, they have to actually straighten out to a certain extent to begin to do their job. The more extreme the X, the worse. A gentle X is not nearly as bad. But imagine you jam on the binders, that car wants to travel forward, and all those cross straps are doing is having to straighten out before they can actually do their job. I'll just go through a couple things with this cyclone on the open deck trailer here. I have this position around the Art Morrison cross member currently. If I am pulling straight out in a way, terminating at a deck fitting here or even a stake pocket, it's the strap is routed around a very substantial piece of material. It's smooth, it's not inhibited by anything. If I were to cross this, it immediately goes over and hits the rack and pinion mount on the driver's side, and of course the same would apply to the passenger side. Let's walk to the rear. Let's get down and take a look under here. Now this car is super simple. It's got a four link with coilovers. This is not actually a terrible candidate in terms of stuff in the way that stops that migration. But if I go either over the lower shock mount bar or around the axle tube itself, again, those straps are just continuing to migrate inward. And what a lot of people don't check for is making sure that they're already establishing the straps at their innermost point. In other words, tighten the straps down, drive a few miles and wonder why they're loose. Well, they're loose because the straps migrating across whatever component you put it around. What if the problem is that the car wants to chatter sideways in an enclosed trailer or, or an open deck such as this? We have other methods to prevent that from happening. One way is an additional strap assembly that may indeed be crossed, but not the primary one. So a redundant strap to prevent that from happening. Our preference is another product that we actually make called an L-shaped wheel chalk. This can be pinned or bolted in place. And then if the car is going to move sideways, it has to leap over about a two and a half inch chunk of solid rubber. This is a product that we make in house. It's molded out of solid rubber can be pinned or bolted. We have a left hand and a right hand version. If that car is going to move sideways and that L-shaped chalk is attached, look what it has to do. It has to leap over that rubber. That's not going to happen. And if it does, you got plenty of other things to worry about. This can also be reversed and used as a parking aid. And of course, if it's going on the inside of the tire and you have one on the other side, it's preventing the side-to-side -side movement just the same. If you're loading your car by yourself, 
This is a wonderful way to fix it up. So when you drive in, you don't need any help. You come up simply to where the tire comes to a stop. Folks, we're here to help you. We do this all day, every day. Give us a call at 800-666-1586 or find us on the web at maxtiedowns.com.